Hello, fellow humans, and welcome to Coinfrontation, now with a new name and a new mission. I just made recently a video about why I renamed the channel and what is the meaning of the new name and the new direction we're going in. Check it out here up in the corner. It's a short video. You can just watch it. Let me know what you think about the new name and uh, some of the new directions that I have planned. I'm also terribly sorry that it took so long to make a new Jasmine update, which this is. Um, I had some personal things to figure out and also the renaming and rebranding of the channel took some time for me. So, but I'm now back at it. There is a lot of DD happened, a lot of due diligence happened, a lot of research happening over the last weeks. So I will go a little bit into that, but just a couple of points. But of course, as always, we start with a disclaimer. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do always your own research before you invest in anything. And as always, to help you with your research, I leave all of the sources that I use to make this video down in the description below. So use them. Okay, with this out of the way, let's start with the first Jasmine update. About the first news, I talked actually already a couple of months ago, so it's not that big news, that new news. However, there's new information coming out about this, so we will talk about this. I talked about this in a video where I introduced a new team of Jasmine. It was, I think, end of last year. I will actually link the video up here, so check it out. And I introduced a whole team, and there was one person particularly that was very interesting. His name is Shen Guo, and he was working before for a company called Centrality in New Zealand. What is Centrality doing? Centrality is developing blockchains. That's super interesting. My guess at the time was that Jasmine has moved from being only a Ethereum token to develop their own blockchain application as I understand was always the plan. Now, what is the news now? In a recent video of Keeping It Real Finance, um, Kier actually told about an article they have found which explains the connection between Centrality and Jasmine. So basically, now it's a fact that's stated by Centrality that they're currently developing a blockchain for Jasmine. Link down below, so check it out. Really interesting article, and I think it's very important news because now it's not guessing anymore, it's a fact. Jasmine will live on its own blockchain, and I think it's an amazing move, and I'm really looking forward. I think it will take a while, it will take months, maybe even years, until there will be a full-fledged blockchain. It's a lot of development work there, so don't expect it next, next Monday, right? But... It's a really good news and I'm really looking forward to the technological advances that they will make over the next months. The second update is a post that Hara made actually on Twitter a couple of days ago. It's a video that they just made which shows what Jasmine Secure PC is and what its applications are in a very nice and marketing-y way. So it explains really the public what the PC is and the concept behind it. I think it's a very good move, looks already much better. We, we said it in the beginning, like last year, the first videos, I was always complaining about their bad marketing at JustMe. They seem massively to improve. I will link, of course, the video down below. It's very short, check it out. It's, it's quite interesting. Most of you out there will already know what they, what they present in the video, but nevertheless, I think it's a good indicator of where the road is going, heading for uh, Jasmine. In his recent video, Kia Finance already talks about him going down the rabbit hole of Jasmine, and he talks about Kunitaka Ando and his connections to different kind of uh, innovation companies, different kind of tech companies, like for example, Bijit, which is a software development company and so on. The reason for this is, of course, he was former president of Sony, so of course a lot of companies want to do business with him, want to have him on the board of advisors or, or on, in other positions in the company, but also he's part of the G, JI network, the Japanese Innovation Network. What they're doing is basically they're consulting companies, they're helping companies to be more innovative. They're founding companies left and right. When you look at the people who are running this uh, JI network, 
they funnel a lot of companies over the last years, mainly in the field of digitalization, IoT, AI, machine learning, things like this. And uh, Kunin Takaan was actually one of the founders of that net network. And I think this, this shows already how deeply entwined he is with the Japanese technology innovation market, right? He's like, he knows everybody in this field, of course, already through his time in Sony, but also through all of his other activities that he was doing over the last years. He's very intertwined with this. That's also the reason why they could could get up so many partnerships so fast, right? For example, the Transcosmos partnership. That's I think it's huge. Not many uh, crypto projects have that huge uh, partnerships with such big companies. Transcosmos is a publicly traded company, right? It's not some kind of small startup with five people. There are thousands of people working for that company. I think it's it's really, really interesting and it has much to do with his activities in the Japanese innovation network link of course also down below check it out you will find of course a lot of companies you already know out of the various DD I made also a video about this before if I find it I will link it here I'm not sure I made so many videos I'm not sure which one it was part of My last part of the video, it's not so much an update, but more maybe something for you to think about, is connected to a discussion I had a while ago on one of my videos, was a little bit heated, I think, um, where somebody said, like, show me an application of Jasmine. Nobody is using it, so it's not working, so don't, don't tell about the scam. That's not how technology is working. Sorry, guys. Um, Jasmine has already a partnership with Transcosmos, but likely Transcosmos has not yet rolled out Jasmine for whole company because this is not how things are working. Usually you start by building a MVP, a minimal viable product. So that's a product which does all of the things that, it, that you promise it should do. So it, it fulfills the need that, it, that the product should do, but it's not great. The graphical user face interface is not so good. Some of the functionality is missing, things like this. But it's good for testing your assumption. Is there a business case? Is there a use case? What are problems? How should the graphical user interface look? How you will interact with different kind of other machines, people, so on. So this is all questions you try to solve with an MVP. And usually when you interact with a big company, I know that because I'm in the startup world and we're interacting with big companies, I know this for a fact, they will not just roll out your product. It usually starts with a POC, proof of concept. So they, they check if it's technologically working, uh, your system. So they need take a small, small, small team, maybe two, three people out of a large company that test your product, and then they come to the conclusion, okay, yes, from technological perspective, it does what you promise it, it, it should do. So the next step is a pilot project where then they actually take a little bit bigger team, implement this within the company, and see not just if it technologically works, but how people are interacting with it, um, what are the use cases, business cases, how they can implement it in their company in the easiest way, but most importantly, what could be the return of investment if they would roll it out on full scale, because this is what companies think about, return of investment. How much money can they save or make by implementing this new technology? And this is not just a question of staying in the black, right, like that you don't spend more than you make out of something, but it's also a question on what to prioritize because the highest ROI is always priority for a company because they can, with the smallest amount of money, make the biggest amount of money, and that's the goal of every company. So these pilot projects and POCs are very important, and they likely not include the whole company, but a couple of maybe a couple of hundred of, uh, of the workers in the call center. In the case of Transcosmos, I would, I would guess maybe even below 100, uh, but somewhere in this range, just to get a feeling of how that would work later on. This is how it works. If you cannot live with the fact that we're talking about the startup that's just building a product, and you want that they have already ready product, sorry, the crypto market as a whole is not for you. Nobody has a really mature product. 
So if you want to invest in crypto or in startups or things like this, you have to live with the fact that the products are not ready, that there is risk uh, connected to that, that they will do POCs, pilot projects, and not full rollouts. Full rollouts will take years to happen. So get ready for this. But I think if you are ready to take that risk, there's a huge potential upside to Jasmine. And I think we will see this over the next two years. I think we will see a lot of movement there, also from a technological perspective. And I, for myself, I look really forward to that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like to the video down below. Comment if you agree, disagree with me. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. There will come a ton of new videos. I will have also new series, new concepts on, on, the, on the channel. So please subscribe to the channel. Join all of my social media outlets. If you can, support the channel by sending me cryptocurrency. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.